right, let's talk about some updates been going on uh, with banks, with regulators, governments clamping down on privacy. Uh, so uh, yeah, my name is Kate Andavani. I'm the host of the Total Bitcoin Vodka Show and I'll see you soon. The Netherlands, uh, the bank, the regulators of ne Netherlands uh, or Holland, as it's also called, um, which has, uh, you know, uh, come up with a very, very strange and surprising uh, regulation. Yeah. So that's the website of Bitonic dot. NL. So it says here, additional verification measures due to registration application. Starting today, Bitonic has, under protest, added an additional verification measure regarding Bitcoin addresses. The Dutch central bank, DNB, has effectively forced us right, to do so in reference to the Sanction Act. Uh, the article in which DNB published their set requirements can be found here, blah, blah. And then it says here, the point, of, uh, point, the essential point is here, what does it mean for you as customer? From now on, we are required to ask additional details, such as the purpose with which you intend to purchase Bitcoins and what kind of wallet you use. Furthermore, we're obligated to verify that you are the legitimate owner of the given Bitcoin address by requesting you to upload a screenshot from your wallet or by signing a message. Now, as if it weren't, you know, as if as if KYC weren't enough, you know, and all these AM, AML, AML uh, guidelines or laws put into effect, um, you know, considering that um, institutions and banks are, uh, you know, uh, whitewashing and laundering two billion, uh, two trillion dollars um, every year or so, or you know, more or less, um, uh, trillions. Yeah, um, so. Uh, this comes actually is no surprise, but it's sort of a yeah very uh, more stringent uh, KYC process. So the the customer needs to verify that you know is obli obligated to verify it, that you know that he or she is the leg legitimate owner of the given Bitcoin address. So yeah, so it's becoming increasingly um, difficult uh, to. Um, to also deposit cash. Uh, I've heard in Austria, as I'm living in Austria, uh, from uh, you know people that um, that is becoming very, very uh, hard and difficult to deposit your own cash. I mean, uh, for example, you know, you had to, let's say you had withdrawn some cash from your own account, and then you just want to, you know, uh, deposit it again. And you know, there's this AML uh, guideline or directive of the European Union, which has been put into national. Uh, enacted into national law in Austria, uh, according you know, to AML uh, guidelines, and um, the law literally says that okay, you know, you um, uh, the the threshold is fifty thousand euro, but internally the banks can very you know can sort of set their own limits, whether it be thousand euro or five thousand or ten thousand. Uh, in which cases the, the bank itself premised uh, on its own um, internal, you know, internal guidelines, you know, uh, can somehow decide whether, you know, they, they could report you to the financial authorities uh, or, you know, uh, or, or somehow report you to the compliant uh, department and all this, all this bullshit. So going on. So, uh, but nevertheless, you know, uh, we're going uh, into a really, um, really, really sad and, and tyrannical and dystopian uh, fascist to it, you know, panopticon surveillance uh, system. And that's why, you know, it's so important that not only the, the, you know, now more and more institutions coming in and, you know, boardrooms and, you know, hedge funds, mutual funds, you know, all these macro investors coming in, but also every individual, you know, the, the man of, and the woman of the street start accumulating Bitcoin. It's never too late. Just get on your whatever, however you do it. Whether you know it's now, it it doesn't matter. Right now, it doesn't matter whether you do it with KYC or not. But if you can do it without KYC, such as on BISC, uh, decentralized exchange BISC, or that's B I S Q or um, Hodl Hodl, uh, you can you know uh, buy your purchase your Bitcoin on a decentralized exchange platform. 
uh, without going through any KYC process. The only thing that you do, you know, it very, uh, it's, it's actually, you know, a contract then between you, you know, as a buyer and uh, the seller. And you just, you know, transfer them the amount, the remaining amount, uh, you have to, you know, put an escrow uh, into the exchange. So, you know, it's very easy right now, you know, it's become much, much easier, but you don't have to go through the, all the KYC process. And the only disadvantage could be that you might have, you know, you would have to, pay usually you paying like a markup not a markup but it's like a, like two three four whatever five percent it depends like really totally individually on the on the on the specific uh, trade that you're uh, um, going through but um, you would be paying sort of a you know something above the spot price you know that's why of course Kraken you know exchange with the lowest transaction fees it has some advantage it has definitely essential advantages but you know, at the end of the day, it is KYC and, uh, you know, you never know how they're connected. They have, you know, subsidiary bank uh, uh, accounts in Germany, for example, where you, you know, wire transfer, for example, from your EU to uh, to Germany, for example, right? And, uh, you know, and everything works really smooth, you know, and uh, it, uh, so, yeah, it's sort of a weighing off trade-offs. This is the thing I'm talking about. Anyway, Let's talk about Cynthia Lummis. I want to talk about Cynthia Lummis, the new select, uh, the new senator uh, elect, who's uh, uh, been just on uh, on uh, Fox News, where she says, uh, really interesting. She's a uh, you know total advocate of Bitcoin, and she wants you know the Congress and all the decision makers, so uh, not only Wyoming but you know beyond uh, to understand to comprehend what is Bitcoin. She's a total fan and advocate of Bitcoin of decentralization um, and of uh, self sovereignty and privacy. So uh, really kudos to her. And um, there's another. Then there's an article by Nick Carter. It's called Nine Bitcoin Charts Already at All Time Highs." You can find it at medium.com/slash at Nick underscore Carter. You can, can, can put those in the show notes. And uh, I'm also going to have like pretty soon Anthony DeSauer. Uh, he's. I mean, that's his tw Twitter handle. Uh, I'll just call him Anthony. I'm going to have him on my show. He already. Uh, uh, I, I confirmed that he's going to come on show because he, he did a really interesting, fascinating uh, Twitter thread. Uh, and it starts like that. It's sort of a rant, he says. It's everyone is waiting for the FOMO. It's not going to be like 2016. The big boys have come to play. He means the institutions, you know, like such as Michael Saylor and, 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 and so on. They don't FOMO, they dominate. The positions they take will be colonial. They, were, they have long-term horizons and they are not buying Bitcoin with paychecks. This bull run will cause suicides when dumbass traders realize what they had in their hands that they sold for merely two to three X. Working class whole coins will start to be few and far between because buying a whole coin will require to sell your house. This next four years is not just the next cycle, it's the next phase where governments will have to respond, where criminals are going to step up, step up the game. We're publicly declaring that you have a whole Bitcoin could be dangerous to you and your family. This bull run is not going to be a retail form of extravaganza. This bull run is the beginning of the fall of fiat. This bull run will cement Satoshi's white paper as one of the most important documents in human history. There will be no 80% correction. There will be no fall from 300,000 to 50,000. Grayscale is not a weak hand. MicroStrategy is not a weak hand. Fidelity is not a weak hand. As you know, Fidelity is sitting on like whatever, six, seven trillions on ma ma assets on the management. Institutions that are buying Bitcoin couldn't give a shit about when Lambo, they get Lambos for free. They control governments. People expect that hybrid Bitcoinization will occur with government adoption. The companies that are and will buy in the next year are the ones that have government in their pockets. They will be, they will be no, there will be no 80% uh, correction. And there's a, you know, a bunch of comments and, and then he saw, he also says the whales of tomorrow are not the whales of yesterday. Manipulating a, a trillion dollar asset requires much more effort. Manipulating a trillion dollar dollar market requires a military. Yeah, very spot on. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to you know, interviewing him, talking to him uh, on my show, Total Bitcoin. And uh, yeah, and again, um, um, you know, just how to DCA, how to accumulate, just, you know, gradually uh, accumulate, accumulate uh, at least, you know, little, uh, like little amounts, whether it be, you know, 20, 30 or 50, 
you can do it hourly, weekly. Uh, I have, you know, the link, the reference link, Delta Badger is for free. You know, you just put the API code in your Kraken, for example, and you can just, you know, uh, um, auto DCA, uh, hourly, weekly, weekly, monthly, whatever, daily, uh, whatever, uh, whatever amount, right? So I would do those small amounts. And if you see like, and, and I would like put like bigger orders on for bigger amounts, uh, for you know, for let's say a reasonable, um, a reasonable threshold level where you where you know it's going to go, like it could go down by you know, uh, let's say by whatever 20, 30 percent. I don't think so, but you know, at least 10 percent. It could you know, temporarily really go down, and these are the orders that could be definitely um, executed and fulfilled. Uh, so I would I would do those sort of you know buy the fucking uh, uh, dips, and um, and otherwise you know just auto accumulate, just relax and auto accumulate and huddle, huddle, huddle. You know, don't sell, don't trade, don't put in, you know, don't do any bullshit. Get yourself a harder wallet. The reference links are, are below in the show notes with its Trezor, you know, uh, Bitbox zero two Bitcoin only. You can also turn you know the Trezor one into a. Bitcoin only uh, with a really just a few simple steps. I've done I've done a you know a, a video on that, and also there's you know the, the super like paranoid, super secure, uh, super air ga app gapped is um, uh, Coba Vault, and of course the uh, Cold Card Wallet by Coinkite, which I've you know I've had all the uh, the you know the uh, the uh, inventors or you know the founders of those companies such as. Uh, 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 of you know the CEO of of, of Coba Vault or uh, Conkite on my show, so thanks so much again for your attention for your time. Please support me. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my podcast platform. Uh, make sure you you know you like, subscribe, to retweet, share. Give me a five positive review if you you know loved any of those interviews I've done with you know those awesome, fascinating experts. You know, brilliant economists or uh, technologists or you know Bitcoiners. On my show, Total Bitcoin, it's anchor.fm slash Kevin Devani, you know, and it's, of course, distributed on all kinds of uh, podcast platforms. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you have any questions, any wishes, any special wishes, which guests I should bring on next time, please let me know. My email address is hello at the totalconnector.com or kd at kvandavani.com. My email address is hello is uh, kvandavani.com or the totalconnector.com. So thank you so much again. And uh, if you want to support me in my film project, Humanity Rooted in Bitcoin for total freedom, uh, total decentralization and total uh, you know, evolution on uh, monetary, economical, social, structural, scientific, technological and spiritual um, level, please uh, get in touch with me. Uh, you know, we're going step by step doing Bitcoin commercial teaser trailer and then full Bitcoin, you know, uh, uh, documentary of your motion picture. So please support me, support us in any shape or form. If you have any skills, talents, or, you know, resources, please get in touch with me. Uh, thanks so much again. I'll see you soon. Bye.